Okay, so in the last task, you wrote some uh, radio script or um, some poem or some lyrics for a song. Uh, and you wrote that in th the previous task, 3.4, in a Google Doc. So your words should be safely in there. This time we're going to use those words to record yourself making an audio file, whether that's going to be reading out the radio advert or performing it, or um, performing the song, or reading your poem. You can do this in a couple of ways. You could record the audio directly into Pages app on page 33. So you open Pages and you actually record in the app. Or if you're feeling more adventurous and maybe you have used it before, you can use GarageBand and the instruments to create it, your song. But remember to keep it simple because you don't have a very long time. However, you cannot, cannot use the video for this task. Uh, you need to have an audio file only. We're focusing on how to convey information using audio only rather than visually. So if you want to record in pages, I have written some instructions out here. And if you want to record, record in GarageBand, uh, I've written some instructions out here as well. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to do in pages and then I will quickly put you in the right direction for GarageBand. So if you want to record in pages, what we need to do is we need to open the pages app and file and go to page 33, which is here. So if I drag up from the bottom and I'll drag Google Classroom side by side so you can see me do the same steps. So I've opened the pages app, I've opened the book file and I've gone to page 33 and there is a plus button at the top and I'm going to choose record audio. When I'm ready to record, I just press record at the bottom of the screen to start recording. And you can see it started recording what I'm saying. And when I'm finished recording, I can just press stop. Now it gives me the option to preview the audio and to edit the audio at the bottom in the two corners. And if I'm happy with what I've heard, I can just insert my audio. Okay. But if I'm not, change my mind, I can just undo it. And also if I record the audio and I don't like what I've heard, you know, I can cancel out of it, undo it, or the same at the top left. Once you've recorded yourself reading a poem, your radio advert, or singing your song, you just need to add the lyrics that you wrote onto the left-hand side, uh, just in case the audio doesn't work, or I can't quite understand what you're saying. Uh, just put it, the audio lyrics in on the left-hand side on the page. Once you've finished that, and the audio and the lyrics are there, just take a screenshot of the page, of page 33, and upload it to Google Classroom to show me that you have completed page 33. Now, if you are using GarageBand, it's a slightly different process. So if I go back to Google Classroom proper, at the very bottom, I have attached a video about GarageBand demo, which will take you through how to create a file, how to record some audio and set the... Uh, the section length is automatic so it doesn't chop you off things like that and how to export and the end of the video shows a slightly different version of the book that we've used in a previous year rather than the version that okay, we're currently so using we need to open garage map so if i pause it and i'll show you so it will be roughly the same until you get towards the end and obviously this template looks a little different to us but it's the same process that we're adding the audio onto the page and adding the words, okay? But your template looks more updated than that one. Okay, but you need to save it into the files on your iPad and that video will take you through how to save it to the files on your iPad and how to add it to your pages document. Okay, so this is what we're doing this time. We're recording the RAM audio, either into pages or into GarageBand and you're gonna add the lyrics and then take a screenshot of the page that you've added it to and upload it to Google Classroom to show you've done it.